Adobe released a new update in June 2020 for their famous Lightroom Classic and we're gonna take a look on the new features and improvements. The new release has a number 9.3. To make it short and sweet, at first the changes that only catch the eye subliminally. As always, performance improvements and I can tell, yes, there is an improvement in the mentioned modules. The library module feels more reactive when you scroll through it. This is very welcome when you work with a large catalog. Then there are improvements in the speed in the search function for the catalog and the sliders of the develop module became more reactive to your adjustments. Of course, there is an updated database for the support of new lenses and cameras. The multi-batch export dialog got new functions for the naming of your files and so on. There is also a catalog backup update, support for three-dimensional projection metadata, new TIFF file compression settings when exporting in Photoshop, a Facebook public collections migration, an improved survey view, a better integration of the sync function when using the Adobe Cloud and the HEVC codec is now supported for Windows 10 and the support for AVI for macOS has been added. One of the big new improvements is the updated tone curve panel. The improvement is to make the graduation curve more palatable even for beginners. It is now easy to switch between a parametric curve and a pointed curve. There is also a faster access to change the RGB channels with the help of the tone curve. It is also possible to copy the settings of a pointed curve to another. And for more comfort you can fix a control point and can then adjust the values of it. In the color panel is also a slight change when you want to pick a color. Now the big new feature, at least for me. Curtain up for local hue adjustment. I always wanted this kind of function. Let's say we want to change the green of the leaves on this tree without affecting the green of the surrounding. For this I select the adjustment brush and mark the tree. I just do it quick and dirty. With the new hue adjustment I can change the hue of the green very easily and also very precise. And for more precision you can check the box, use fine adjustments. Bravo to this new feature. There's also a new crop overlay, a 2x2 grid for an easier centering the subject in the image. For this the crop overlay must be activated, then you go to tools, then crop guide overlay and there you will find the new center overlay. And we continue with the new ISO adaptive preset function. This feature allows to use a dynamic noise handling for photos on which you apply this preset. For this you have to select at least two images with a different ISO. Then you go to the develop module and click on the plus at the presets panel and click there create preset. At the bottom of the dialog you'll find the new function. And to make it clear what this is good for, you have one image with an ISO of 400 where the noise reduction is set on 0 and one with an ISO of 1600 with a noise reduction of 10. If you apply the preset now to an image with an ISO of 800, the noise reduction will be set automatically to 5. And while we are on the subject of presets, Adobe has also added new default presets. <music> So far to the new Lightroom Classic update from June 2020, this was a brief overview for all the new features. For more photography topics you can visit the lightcolorshadow.com and we will see us in one of my next videos. Until then, good light for you and until next time, bye bye.